Hey folks, this is Max and welcome to another workflows video. And in this video, I want to show you how to delete users. So let's uh, let's build this flow. Now, we're going to um, actually build two flows, one the main flow and one the helper flow. And so the first flow is going to find the users we want to delete, and those will be uh, deactivated users. So we want to find all the deactivated users in an organization and then delete them. And then we're going to pass those users to helper flow, and then the helper flow will actually delete them. Um, now, this is just a working example that I built before. And let me show you the people. So I have people in my organization here. And let me just, just refresh and show all users. And I've got three users here um, who are deactivated. So uh, I've got Mason, Alicia, and uh, Jacqueline. Um, you can see it says deactivated here. So once the flow runs, we will delete these three users. All right, let's go and let's click new flow. Now, the first one, I'm going to call this uh, delete user. Now, this one actually will delete the user. And this is the helper flow. Now, to set up a helper flow, we're going to add event and then um, set it up as a helper flow. Now, we're gonna, we need to set up the inputs that this flow receives. Now, for helper flows, um, also, we're going to be using streaming. right? So we're going to be streaming records to this flow. and then. To set this up, we need this will be record. And this is the record, this is the user record that's being passed to the helper flow. And what's important in that it defaults to text, but it needs to be an object. And also, we're going to use the, um, the record has a lot of information. Uh, it's a JSON object, but we need uh, its ID. Now, this one is state. Um, so this is additional information that you can pass to helper flow now and it's it's always a, it's optional but it's actually a good idea to always create it and it also should be an object now we're not going to be passing anything so if we were passing anything you would define those attributes here but for now we'll just keep it uh, just we'll define it but not really use it all right now here we're going to do uh, octa and then delete. We're going to be deleting a user. And now this is the ID of the uh, record or the user. And that's it. So that's that's all we do here. Um, so basically just two cards. And let's save. OK. Let's go back. And now let's create a flow which actually finds the users. So we'll say find deactivated users, and if I can spell correctly, there we go. Okay, now this one, we're also going to go to Okta uh, connector. And then we'll use list. So this one. Now the result set, now this is just for testing, I'm actually going to go, we're going to use streaming in a second, but I'm going to use first 200 matching records. And this will allow me to test this, that the search works. Let's save. And let's see here. So I'm going to go deep provision. So if you remember, I have three users. So if I test this card, I should get three users here. And I did. So this is one of them. And this is the other one. OK, so this works. Now I'm going to do, I'm going to go back to options, and I'm going to change it to streaming. And then I don't need this these inputs. So deep. And so also the reason I created the helper flow first is because um, I wouldn't be able to save. So, but now I have the helper flow and then I'm going to delete users. And this is the one. Okay. So again, um, it's going to find the users and then I'm going to pass each user sort of automatically um, via streaming to the helper flow. Okay, let's save this. Uh, let's turn this on. And let's open the helper flow. Um, and so again, um, the, the it's going to pass each record. And again, it has a lot of information uh, in that record, but we're interested in just uh, the ID. And then we're going to pass the ID to delete user card, and then the user will be deleted. Okay, so let's go click here. Let's switch to uh, flow history. So we're going to come back to this in a second. And 
um, let's run this. Um, so let's click test. All right, so this ran. And so this is uh, one, one run, right? Um, because this is the, the main flow. If I go here, I can see that the helper flow was, um, was run three times, right? Because I have three users. And um, so as you can see right here, uh, this is the information from the record that's being passed. So you can see again, uh, a lot of information. And what I'm looking for is the, this ID here. So this is the ID. And again, if, if you need to, you can of course sort of use any other attributes here in this JSON uh, object, okay? Um, but it worked. And if I go back here, now I've got the three users. If I refresh the page, uh, they're gone. Um, the three users are no longer listed. Um, so again, uh, that's how you delete um, a user using streaming in Okta workflows. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope this was useful and I will see you next time.